Greetings, this is Tomasio. Uh, just recording some more music today. And um, my message, I have a message came to me for the Christians who are rioting uh, in Baltimore. Uh, this is from the commander in chief. You cannot riot in the name of Christ. You just can't riot in the name of Christ because Jesus clearly taught his followers to turn the other cheek. So rioting is not turning the other cheek. Rioting is paying back vengeance and retribution, which is judge, uh, judgment is mine, saith the Lord. So if you are a Christian and you're engaged in this retribution and paybacks over the death of you know, a, a black man who should not have died on, in police custody, uh, you know, and and whatever. The, I mean, it's it's no different than what happened during the time of slavery. Okay, look at the injustice that took place then. Okay, look at the justice that took place then. Lynchings, you know, rape, all kinds of stuff were happening to, you know, African Americans. And um, so this this is no different than what ha what has already happened in this country. The, the question, though, is how does a Christian respond? And Martin Luther King Jr. responded with nonviolence. So you might say, well, you know, look, look what good that's done. Well, it's done a lot of good. It, it's done a tremendous amount of good. So as a Christian, you really are forbidden to riot. That doesn't mean you can't be sympathetic to what is taking place and injustice and, you know, un unjust killing, you know, no, I mean, yeah, we've got to be fired up about that. When any innocent human being is, you know, unjustly murdered. Okay. That's why we need a pro-life society because as long as you have pro-choice, meaning that certain people can decide whether or not someone else should live or die, this is going to continue to happen. You know, and, and not just to um, African Americans, you know, <laughs> look at, I mean, seriously, it's happening to Christians, it's happening uh, to, you know, homosexuals in certain parts of the world, it's, it's clearly happening to the unborn people, it's happening to women, uh, you know, so injustice is injustice, and, you know, killing another human being, uh, when your life is not being threatened, yikes, really, I mean, come on. So, but, so I'm passionate for the cause. It's just a question of, you know, Jesus clearly said, you know, someone strikes you on the right, you turn and give them the left. So, and that's what Martin Luther King Jr. clearly demonstrated, you know, was nonviolence. Because if we can't win this battle, uh, via intelligent discussion, if we can't, you know, in other words, if you can't convince somebody that killing an unarmed, you know, restrained human being is an injustice and taking an innocent life, um, then, you know, you've got to get these people out of office and things of that nature. You know, if you... That's what I'm trying to say is like, well, you have a system where you can work this thing out. <laughs> but so you got to increase the uh, dialogue. You got to just in increase the um, the actual uh, content of your arguments and, and make them compelling enough where, you know, you'd be a fool to to disagree. You know, that's the level we have to fight on. Forget about you know, taking up arms and burning down people's stores and, and calling yourself a Christian. No, that's not how Christ taught us to deal with this type of thing. So if you are a Christian, I would repent, get out of it. Don't, don't continue, you know, don't continue in the rioting. Uh, definitely not. You're not representing Jesus Christ clearly, and you're not representing Martin Luther King Jr., who was sent by Jesus Christ to be an example for us in this, you know, fight for, um, human rights. Thank you.